today I'm going to uh, show you those towers. Uh, so those towers are very special because they are 3D printed. Um, we have a company that makes automated um, EC pH monitoring devices. And uh, we also make this kind of things uh, be, because last year we did that with uh, leftover filaments we didn't use. Um, and I thought it was a good occasion to show you guys how it works. Um, so basically, those are uh, 3D printed towers, open source uh, 3D model. And this is very interesting because they thought about a lot of things. Uh, they thought about uh, people that want to uh, start hydroponics with some kind of towers like that. This kind of towers is very um, simple and easy to understand. We have printed all those parts from here to here, okay? Uh, this guy here, um, it's, uh, uh, I don't know how you say that, it's a plant pot cover from IKEA, you know? Um, so this guy here is less than 10 euro. And what we did is to print the whole thing, okay? And to put it on the IKEA plant cover. Here we have multiple modules that you can clip and unclip those one we've used that uh, last year already so uh, how it is inside so you have uh, well at the beginning you will have uh, an aquarium pump within this uh, pot right here the pump will uh, push water from the bottom um, to the top with a tube that we will put at the center of the tower okay so you will have a flow of water going uh, from the top to the bottom, to the top, to the bottom, okay. So here is the top section where you will put your tube right here and here it will flow continuously, okay. So you will, be, you will have water flowing out from this and it's blocked by the cork right here. And it's a very easy system as you can see, okay, it's a simple lock system a third of a turn and each section can have between five and one plant and also no plants if you want to. Those net pots are also pretty printed. Uh, they work the same. They've got uh, a third turn lock system. Okay, we can see it right here. And it can uh, get any kind of plant as long as it's uh, small to medium. Uh, so up to, uh, let's say, peppers, plants, uh, things like that. And you can clip as much section you want to create your tower. Here you've got a, a small window when you can have access to the water you will uh, put there. It's approximately um, 5 to 10 liters of water within that, and that kind of thing. And uh, to me, it's a very good way to start hydroponics uh, because if you get access to a, a 3D printer, you can print it pretty easily um, and uh, have your uh, first hydroponics system. So here you've got uh, more serious towers. Uh, those towers uh, are made for people who want to grow more plants than uh, with a small one. Uh, those one have the same sections right here and you can see those sections they have um, holes right here to allow you to hook them up to uh, support that you will put um, on the upper area those things uh, will have the same system of recirculating water so instead of the IKEA pot we are using this kind of uh, plastic box uh, to make our water reservoir Basically what we do, we put it here, we put water in it, there is a big pump in this uh, tank, the pump is uh, 3000 liters per minute, um, uh, no per hour, sorry, and uh, this pump will push water to the upper tubes, the tubes are split and we go into the upper side of those towers, the water will flow there, 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 and we go to the bottom section where you will have uh, some kind of uh, termination for those towers <clears throat> where you will be able to put an outlet tube that will go back to the water reservoir. So you have a very flexible installation where you can 
add modules, you can remove modules, uh, you can choose the size, uh, the sizes for each one. Uh, you can choose to have only uh, plants at the bottom and, and only uh, make a blank section right here so you have no plants because you can put some big plants right here that will go down, you know, and do it after your will. You don't have standard uh, systems in hydroponics right now, so we all have to create new standards. Uh, so, quick questions. Um, do you find it interesting? Uh, is that something uh, you'd be interested to see uh, available uh, at our, our store on greenpanic.com? You can let us know in the comments below. Well, talk to you soon.